Scenario, you're at the office and a colleague pops in and asks if you can point her to Dave in HR. You tell her where to find him and off she goes. A little later, another knock and a, another colleague says, could you also just show her where the meeting is happening in Dave's office? Same question, same answer, same Dave. Yet you take more notice of the woman on the right because you know the way she looks gains more respect from you. You might even give her a smile that you never gave the first time around. Let's say that you are recruiting, you're hiring for the same company. This woman comes with the right skill set, the right attitude, she has everything that you are looking for. And then you, you interview this woman. She has exactly the same skill set, exactly the same criteria is met. She has exactly the same attitude, yet you know you'll give more attention and time to considering the woman on the right. Why? Because she is presenting herself as a good ambassador for your company. Let's say you're new in town, you're with your kids at the playground and you're looking to connect with another mom who may be well connected in the area. Are you going to strike up a conversation with this mom or does this mom just somehow seem that she will have a stronger network. Let's say that you're single and you don't wanna be. Do you know whether or not your husband is at the gym? And if your potential husband is at the gym, what is he seeing? Is he seeing this or is he seeing this version of you? First date impressions, okay, sometimes you only get one shot. Is he gonna remember meeting you like this or is he gonna come up and say like, wow, this is my date? Oh my gosh, man, how did I get so lucky? Has the ocean ever captivated you, friend? Have you ever been mesmerized or, or overwhelmed with the beauty and the power of the ocean? Have you ever noticed the beauty and the stealth of the jaguar or, or another favorite animal of yours? Have you ever appreciated the majesty of the mountains, how they claim their ground and claim their space? This is inspiration. Let's look at those words again. Captivating, beautiful, majestic. This is you, you are that creation designed to captivate, to be beautiful, to represent majesty. But let me ask you a question. Do you think the ocean ever compares itself to the mountain as women compare themselves to other women? Do you think the jaguar hides his speed, hides his ferocity and his beauty? Does he ever question whether he deserves to look beautiful and powerful? No, he does not. He, he walks and lives in his full design. Let's look at the word deserve. The Latin root is desevere, so let's break that down. D means completely, and severe is to serve. So together that means to serve well, to serve zealously. This is a common uh, issue with a lot of my clients, where they struggle with feeling deserving of walking into a room and turning heads and people thinking, wow, who is that? Well, let me ask you a question. Do you serve well? Because if you do, whether it's at home or at work or as a mom or in your community, if you serve well, then according to the original intention of this world, you are entitled to any reward that you would like. That is the foundation of it. So what's the problem? Okay, so life happens, let's break it down. You want to wait to lose the weight. Well, let me ask you friend, how long have you been doing that and how many more years do you wanna to lose to that game? But dressing up takes too long. Well, then you've never used a system. I don't have the money. Actually you do, but let's start with shopping your closet. It's easier just to wear yoga pants. Well, the truth is easy will not lead to fun, freedom and success, but simple does. My religious training says that beauty is vain. Well, I hope you're sitting down for this one. Your religious training is flawed and dangerous. Fashion rules are confusing. Yes, you, you're right, they can be, but fashion should not be your compass. And I fear judgment and rejection. This is a big issue among women. You're absolutely right but there is a way to shine bright and uplift others to do the same. Life happens, we get hurt. In February, I conducted a massive survey and I asked the women, what is your biggest daily frustration in life? You know what they said? Being judged, criticized and rejected by other women. This is sad but true and I am on a mission to break down these barriers and build powerful bridges. And the fact is, you're either part of the beautiful solution garden on the left or you are part of the ugly, untrustworthy, disloyal problem garden on the right. There is no fence sitter on this one, friend. The beautiful Sarah you see in front of you used to get up and be slandered and gossiped about because she had fun with fashion and she loves dressing well for her husband. But boy, did she go through some tough times and let it knock her back. And then we got together. I'm like, you get up, dress up. You be that bold woman that you are. 
during the personal, um, our Power of Personal Style training, we give scripts on how to respond when those comments come your way about, hey, Sarah, it's not a fashion show, you know, it's just lunch. There are scripts on how to break down those barriers. When we dress beautifully, we sometimes unintentionally invite the hurt in another woman's heart. But there is a moment of power in that. Let's bust another big lie. But nobody sees me at home. I'm alone all day and nobody sees me. Well, you just called yourself a nobody. Let that sink in for a minute. Melissa is most certainly not a nobody. When I met her, she had gone from corporate to full-time mom. She had no plan in hand. So she was dressing down, tacky tracky, old college t-shirt, ducking in and out of the grocery store once a week, giving eye contact to the ground, hoping that nobody would see her. And then we got together. And in weeks, I'm telling you weeks, and the months that ensued, she didn't just go on to open her own online business. She is now a beautiful, bold, vivacious mom who is that mom on the playground that you want to seek out. And boy, does her husband, Kevin, love and appreciate how she dresses. Giovanna is the same. She went from career to full-time mom. On, on, the woman on the left is the same on the right, but inside on the left is an entrepreneur, a beautiful, sexy wife, a mother, an incredible mom. You don't see all of that unless you communicate it on the outside. And we are wired for visual and colorful communication. The gorgeous crystal is absolutely not a nobody. And here's a, a real important note. How you see yourself is how you will dress, is how you will communicate who you are to the world. It takes little teeny tiny changes to style to communicate your beauty and your value. My name is Linda, and Linda actually means beautiful in a couple of languages, yet I used to hate my own name. Friend, I grew up with abandonment and rejection issues, with a, a self-loathing and a self-hate that I had to work my whole life to overcome. I had a fear of failure, yet I was very ambitious and driven, a fear of rejection. I had rock-bottom self-esteem, yet I was bold but not confident. There is a big difference between these two things. I know how it feels to feel ugly and small on the inside and to fake it till you make it on the outside. It is no way to live. My strongest skill was my personal style, thanks to an encounter that I had with a woman by the name of Miss McBean, a teacher when I was 10 years old. And thanks to her, I went on in life to learn. I know what casual versus smart casual means. From a young age, I knew how to dress for any interview. I, I applied and loved bold power dressing. I knew how to go from corporate to cocktail, in flat in minutes, from the beach to the bar, and how to do and give the non-surgical, what I call tummy tuck, for those of us who don't have that, that six-pack tummy. Dressing well got me feeling and looking confident, invited for interviews, headhunted locally and internationally, earning excellent income, noticed and appreciated for my hard work, invitations to events that I didn't feel like I even belonged at, and even a husband, I'm not kidding. It's another story for another time. So how can dressing well do all of that for you? Life is all about connecting with people and we live in a visual world. When you walk into a room or into a Zoom call, you have a few seconds to say, I'm confident, I'm valuable, I'm trustworthy, and the world is looking for those things today. So what are your top three strengths? And are you communicating those when you walk into a room? Let's take an example. Let's say that you are professional, self-motivated, and dependable. Let's say the woman in the picture is all those things. Are you going to see that in her dressed here? Or will you see those traits in her on the right-hand side? It's by far easier to see that professionalism through what she's wearing on the right. And it's very, very simple to learn those skills. Style is just a skill and you need to learn how to wear your skills and your value on the outside. And I hear this a lot, but I want to change the world. I feel like I have so much to give. Okay, well, let's go there. Do you really want to change the world? Do you feel like you have a special purpose? Because we all do. So let's go there. You then have to assess your influence. You have to understand your influence. And the word influence, if you do a word study on it, you'll come down with a few words, and most of them include momentum, impact, authority behind your position, the, the flow, like water, bringing a flow to life and to people, and to cause change. Well, let's go there for a minute. This is really, really important. So in understanding your influence, let's say this is you, and you have various categories in your life, all right? There's, let's say there's seven or eight categories where you have a relationship with these people and influence in this environment, okay? So we're going to break it down. What's really important is you ask yourself, 
how do they perceive me? Not what value can I bring? How do they perceive me? Because perception is different to your intention. And if you've caught that, you're catching a game changer. So let's break it down. What do they physically see before they encounter you? All right. Let's start with your spouse or your boyfriend or whatever that is. Is he seeing the same woman day in, day out? Or does he get this sexy, gorgeous girlfriend or wife on a regular basis, just keeping him intrigued? What about how you see yourself? Are you the plain Jane in a black t-shirt and jeans every single day? Or do you like to bring a little structure and focus into your life? Are you that productive woman who manages her time and her money and lives the life that she knows she's worthy of? What about your kids? And remember, it's not just your kids. It's other kids and their moms and schools and events and sports. Are your kids seeing you the same day in and day out? Or are you using color? Because kids are wired for color. We adults are wired for color. And are you bringing fun and, and interest and, and joy into their lives and teaching them confidence through fashion as well? What about your faith life and maybe your church life? Are you dressing down because it's just church? Or are you getting up and going to worship your God with everything that you've got when he says, do all things as unto him? It doesn't say, except the way you dress. What about charity? Let's say you're someone who invests time and money and effort there. Do they again see the same girl day in and day out? Or are they seeing a beautiful, vivacious, influential woman who they really are, are, are influenced by your suggestions and the value that you want to bring? Let's go to your work environment. Are you this woman going for this interview? Not even dressing up, by the way, for your phone interviews or your Zoom interviews? Or are you that ambassador for the company that they are looking for? What about your extended family? Do they know that you wear the same thing? year in, year out for all the family events? Or do you represent your family with your best foot forward? And what about your community? Are they seeing this same girl? Or are they, there's just a little bit something different about you than everyone else in that environment. And that little bit something different needs to be communicated on the outside. Life is all about people. And your first conversation with them is through what you're wearing. So you have got to learn to connect your inside with your outside. Jeans and t-shirt may be your favorite outfit, but it does not mean it, it is lazy. It does not give you an excuse to just be dull and boring every single day, okay? One little change here and there can make a massive difference. Same jeans, same shoes, same girl, just easier to see now. And if we can see you, we can hire you, we can invite you, we can do business with you, we can be influenced by you, we could even marry you, all right? And let's stay on that topic for a minute. On the topic of marriage, I have clients who are single, who are struggling to find men who have the same values as them. And then I look at what they're wearing, which is like skin tight, top to bottom, back to front, everything's spilling out. And listen, if you want to be sexy and let it hang out, then that's, that's up to you. But if you want to attract a man who's got high standards and values, then Dress something like this, still sexy, still modern, still flirty, but leave something to his imagination. You will attract a different man. Staple pieces like the blazer are so easy to take a jeans and t-shirt outfit and just doll it up in mere seconds. Have you got an important board meeting or an important meeting of some kind? This is how women often dress. And many women these days don't even have suits, by the way. And this is a, an absolute essential in the wardrobe. So you can go like this. What about this? Bold color communicates boldness and confidence, and it says something before you even open your mouth. And here at Linda Page, we talk the F word, okay? We talk fat. We get real, and we talk about stop waiting for the weight and how to get up, dress up, and love your body and live your best life. And then I hear, but I just want to be comfortable. Okay, well, let's go there then. Wear your faded jeans or your yoga pants you've been wearing for years with your old college t-shirt, hair up in a messy bun, no makeup, and wait for the weight. Is that really and truly comfortable? Come on, let's get honest with ourselves. When you dress down, you feel down, you look down, and your thought life takes a tumble. Your tacky tracky, your old t-shirt, your undone hair and makeup, this is not you at your best, and that is not comfortable. Life at home does not need to be dull or boring. I don't care if you are a stay-at-home mom or a single woman at home, you don't work or you work with kids or somebody always sees you. And it takes very little effort to add a little bit of color, do your hair up a little bit differently from time to time, add a cute little pair of earrings, some color to your feet, and to use the power of color and texture to show that which is inside of you on the outside. 
This is really important. If you think that beauty only applies to the inside, you're either lazy or you are religiously bound in a poverty mentality that contradicts the call to do all things as unto him. Listen, I have had clients come to me and bring in religious uh, teaching saying, Red is um, only for prostitutes and uh, beauty is vain and I should not, not really listen. We can go there. I've been studying fashion and beauty from the scriptures for years. It's one of my favorite conversations. You and I can have that offline anytime. I have evidence to the contrary. Look at the beautiful Harriet. She was not designed for the gray life she used to live on the left. Look at those curves. Look at that skin. Look at those gorgeous features. She's designed to stand out. The beautiful Belinda, it doesn't matter if you're 50s, 60s, or 70s, or 80s. Do not use your age as an excuse to dress down. We need you. Celebrate your years. Do not be a woman who has been trained by the world to hide your age. That is conforming to the world that celebrates youth and does not celebrate age and wisdom. And that is not who we are. Stay connected. You've got so much life experience and so much more to give. And now that Belinda is more visible, she can connect with others and encourage them and lead them. Like the gorgeous young Dana, again, went from a career to being a full-time mom, no plan, no, no idea of what to wear, became overwhelmed, productivity dropped, and then we got together and she started dressing up. It was weeks. This is not a long time, friend. This takes a matter of weeks to learn how to apply. And then with repetition, you become your own guru in your own style department. Most people are blind to the power of personal style, most especially online. You want to take charge of this. You want to present who you are. You want to use eye contact, your smile, body language to connect with others and communicate confidence. Do not use the excuse that being online or Zoom or your phone or that laptop or that screen is a barrier between you and other people. That is not the case. You are still connecting. So why are some people the queen of low self-esteem while others seem to have it all together? Well, first of all, not everyone has it all together. But the best education in the world cannot prevent the knocks on our confidence and our self-esteem. Taking the decision to heal and grow via community and accountability is so important, it's powerful. And there is freedom on the other side of this. I have a personal powerful testimony of this. I have a coach who has changed my life. In fact, when I do my webinars like Fashion in the Bedroom, um, How and Why to Get Healing from Past Sexual Trauma and Learn to Use Fashion to Spice Things Up, that alone is a miracle. I used to be a frigid woman. My story is frigid to frisky. We cover these things because fashion is a gift in every single area of our lives. So here are three simple style secrets that I want to share with you at a very, very high level. I teach my clients how to simplify, systemize, and scale, in other words, duplicate their personal style and their wardrobes. Let's break that down. In simplifying, we cull, baby, we cull. I show you what items in your closet are mud and what are motivation, how to get rid of them, and how to apply a staple rule of mine, which is quality over quantity, and, and then how to do your personal style profile so that we start with a fresh, clean slate of building a beautiful wardrobe on a budget for your specific lifestyle. Then comes the capsule wardrobe. That's one of many power tools. What to find um, and where to look for it at what price and how to mix and match it. Both local and online resources. And money, honey, this is a really, really big one. This is just some of the tools in the system. And then finally, focus, apply, repeat. I teach my children this. F-A-R, if you wanna go far, you wanna focus, apply, repeat. Repetition is the mother of all skill. And it will remove the dependency that you have on the fashion industry, even on people like me. Image consultants and style coaches, you can become your own style guru and start having fun and freedom with fashion. The power of personal style delivers a proven, tried and tested system, powerful accountability, a like-minded community and expert mentorship with me. It's simple, it works and you can do it. 98% of the world still shops and says I have nothing to wear. Why? Because they have no blueprint. That is the problem. If you wanted to learn to play the piano or a musical instrument, you wouldn't rush out and go buy one and try and teach yourself. You would probably go for lessons. If you want to go um, and learn to play golf, you're not going to go to the pro shop and get kitted out and go and chop up the, go the green. You're going to get lessons and you're going to learn how and then you're going to get going. If you want to become a, a master chef, you're not going to get all the tools of the trade and all the food and have no recipe, right? No, 
You need to stop shopping and buy the blueprint. And the power of personal style is that blueprint. It will change how you shop. It will change how you wear. It will save you time. It will save you money. And it will help you to step into your spirit of beauty. The results will be no more competing or comparing with other women. You will be that full-time mom that communicates that it is a presidential position. No matter your height, age, or size, you will love your body and you will dress it up. You will be from formally overlooked at the office, be invited to give your expertise and your input into key projects and opportunities. No matter your age, you will embrace and communicate your beauty and your wisdom. You will go shopping guilt-free with a plan in hand and a budget to go with it. You will learn how to pack for a two-day weekend or a three-week international trip. You will attract that man that you say you want to attract or maybe spice up your love life again. And as a bonus, there's even a capsule wardrobe for the modern man in The Power of Personal Style, showcasing just how men like the amazing Kyle in front of us supplied a few basic things and communicates the value and the strength and the power of the personality on the inside, on the outside. You will learn to love yourself because that is our purpose, is to get up, dress up, and is to love whoever you believe your God is and to love yourself and love others. And through that, you decide what you do in life and how you do it. But that is the call, is to just be bold and powerful in that love, like the gorgeous Karen has done. She has learned the power of personal style. She has learned about the beauty of those curves. She's having fun with it. And she learned to say and wear the t-shirt, I love my body. And I'm telling you since then, that's one of the ways that pounds have just dropped off her. She is loving it. And man, so is her husband. No more waiting for the weight. It is time to live. So who is this coaching for? It's for two people. I'm very passionate about the woman who has low self-esteem and it is my mission to help her and show her how beautiful she is and how to come out out of the shadows and be who she was intended to be. And I also work with women who have a bold personal style already but want to take it to the next level. So what that means is learning that fashion is a gift that can bring you out from the shadows, boost your confidence and return your focus to truly helping and uplifting others. And if you're ready for next level, fashion is a power tool that will set you apart, attract powerful people, new opportunities, and take you to that next level. Who is this not for? It's not for blamers and complainers, the curious and not the serious, the shortcutters, the penny pinchers, and the opinion givers. That is not who I work with. This is for you if you know that there is more to the life that you are living and that you're ready to do something about it. Beauty and style is already inside of you. All you have to do is learn how to dress from the inside out. The only question is, are you ready to stop thinking about it and to take action? Sandra did. Her own words after a few weeks, I feel like a long lost treasure has come to life. This woman has nailed it and continues to get powerful results. She is having fun again. Her marriage has been impacted. Her teenage kids have been affected. She is invited to give her input on key business projects right now. And recently, after doing an online video where uh, people experienced her personal presentation, her confidence, she has been invited to be a key member of an educational circle for her entire country. That is powerful. Look at this beautiful woman, Magdalena, just absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what profession she's in? She's the founder and principal of a school. Beautiful, powerful mother, wife, and, 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 and businesswoman, and someone with a passion and a skill set with children. Who would you rather meet with when deciding whether or not this is the school for your children? And Elaine is crushing it. Oh my goodness, this woman has been on a journey where applying little things consistently is helping her to rise up and communicate and live as that beautiful, bold, woman that she has always been on the inside. This is really important. It is not about your identity. The beautiful Jenny in front of us, this is the same woman. But your identity on the left is not what's perceived on the right. So we need to use the gift and the tool of fashion and personal style to communicate that. It is your responsibility to tell the world who you are and what you can bring to the table. It is nonsense to say, well, this is who I am and how I dress, like it or leave it. Well, you know what? People will leave it and you will have lost far more opportunities than you're ever even aware of. You must connect your inside with your outside. This is the game changer. Because when you do that, when you invest in yourself, you will go from feeling fat and frumpy, avoiding those mirrors, 
Even fearing infidelity in your relationship or your marriage, hating yourself, you know how you feel when you binge eat in secret, depressed from missing out on fun with friends and family, and you will learn to love the skin you're in. No more comparison. Your new skills will boost your confidence and show you how to dress all your beautiful curves. You will go from feeling bound and fearful and restricted through your religious training, even fearing that your beauty will trap a man, to understanding that your beauty is a gift that has a powerful purpose and you are not responsible for another man's eyes. You will go from lying awake at night worrying about how you're going to pay the bills, that feeling in your, in your chest that comes with that stress, to applying the power of personal style to your career and increasing your income through those new skills. You will go from feeling lazy and sloppy and shabby, not your best, in your old jeans and your yoga pants, and you will feel productive, you'll feel strong, having learned how to be both comfortable and well-dressed, because the two are not mutually exclusive. You will go from hating shopping, being confused by all the new season's rules, to understanding the difference between fashion and style, and shopping with the blueprint in hand. You will go from feeling overwhelmed on the back foot and constantly feeling out of time to simplifying your morning routine and implementing a style system that will position you for your day. You will go from feeling painfully shy and unworthy to building a quiet but powerful confidence. And you will move from fearing judgment and criticism, nervous of what others might say, terrified of rejection and scared that you are not living the life that you know you were designed to live, to writing your own story, friend, using scripts to help you overcome the fear of man and using fashion as a confident conversation starter, inspiring others to do the same. What you wear can change your life. I invite you, join those already in the game, those playing to win. You get one life, one shot. There is no rehearsal. When you get to your last day, will you be able to say, I gave it my all? Let me help you get up, dress up, and be that bold light on a hill and live your very best life. As I always say, every day is Tuesday. What will you choose today? Click on the link, book a call with me. Let's talk.